There is an art exhibit in Petaluma, California, the likes of which you have never seen. I would call this a kaleidoscope of artistic color, calls on the visual arts and the sound of music. It's hard not to play these. It's hard not to play every one of them. So that while the pianos are basically the same, the artwork is where it really sets them apart. The wide range of different artistic styles that the artists have applied. We have uh, fun little joyful kitty stuff. We've got very serious dark pianos. Frankly, I don't think this is the kind of art exhibit that has ever been done before, and it lights up the faces of the visitors. Pre-COVID days, Petaluma Pete was playing the piano every Friday and Saturday from six to nine out on the street, downtown Petaluma. I actually started the Pianos of Petaluma project about 10 years ago uh, with the intention of just giving people the opportunity to play, let people experiment on the instruments. If they don't play at all or if they're really great or any, anywhere in between, we had pianos spread all over town. The thought behind having the pianos painted in the first place was to ask the artists to do a river theme so that we could draw attention to the fact that the turning basin was in dire need of repair. It needed to be dredged, the trestle still needs to be rehabilitated, and so the river theme on the pianos and also the signage on the pianos made reference to that. But when COVID came, off they came and into the warehouse they went. But it was a sad deal for sure because a lot of these pianos people really did enjoy playing. And standing in the middle of all of those pianos, I thought, holy smoke, how cool would it be to have these all together in one place? Now, this is a wonderful example of creativity by a person by the name of Tina Hittenberger. This is a typewriter piano, and as you can see, she has the typewriter up here. The return lever is actually a hockey stick. The keys themselves have letters on them, so that when you type your name, J, and then O and H and N, then it's a melody that is unique to you. Here's another example. Michael Garlington is the artist, and he went three-dimensional on these wonderful Buddhas. Uh, this one is also a big-time favorite here. So when you visit, if you like something you see, it's definitely for sale. The pianos are for sale. The artwork is for sale. All the money collected is going toward the Petaluma River Promenade organization with the intention of keeping alive the fact that the downtown River Trestle needs to be rehabilitated. The Pianos of Petaluma project is here to stay as far as I'm concerned. We are always going to be asking artists to participate. I would like to make this an annual event, if at all possible, this wonderful experience for people, especially visitors, to come downtown from out of town. It's an experience, I'm sure, that a lot of them will never forget.